Did you possibly get one of these for Christmas? Did you get this for a college gift? I actually, this is the one I actually got in college, believe it or not. This thing has lasted me for seven years. It is awesome. Really good. I, if you love seafood soups, this is the recipe for you. And crock pots are amazing. Okay, they are the ultimate set it and forget it kitchen appliance. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a wonderful clam chowder in a crock pot. Everyone knows that New England clam chowder is the best clam chowder. We do not talk about Manhattan clam chowder in my house, okay? We don't do that. So no slaving away over a stove trying to get your roux right or, you know, dousing it a whole bunch of cream, sweating the vegetables. This is going to be as easy as putting everything into your crock pot and closing the lid. Traditionally, it's made with a lot of butter and a lot of milk, a lot of heavy cream, and, you know, we're going to put this on a lighter version. We're gonna dial the dairy down. For us people who may be lactose intolerant, you may have a love for clam chowder, but because you're lactose intolerant or you're just trying to stay away from dairy, it's not the best option for you. you you're gonna start out with your low sodium chicken broth and then you're gonna get a box or a can of condensed cream of chicken soup. You can substitute cream of mushroom soup if you want, but we're gonna use some chicken soup just to stick with the theme. And then you're gonna get your clam juice and your chopped clams, and that's gonna be like your grocery items. Your fresh items are going to be your potatoes, your celery, your onion, your bay leaves, your thyme, and of course, no New England clam chowder is a New England clam chowder without some bacon. So hopefully your grocery store has it so you can purchase just a couple of strips of bacon. My grocery store does, which is completely awesome. If you have to buy the pack, I suggest just sitting it in the freezer, but you really only need like one strip of bacon. Be sure to read the description box for a list of all the ingredients. So you're going to start out by chopping up your vegetables, getting them ready for your slow cooker because everything else is pretty much ready for you. This is all the work that you have to do. So you're gonna cut up your potatoes, celery, your onion, you're gonna pop that garlic and get it all nice and chopped up and then you pretty much just start putting everything into your slow cooker. Uh, you can layer it in if you want. My only suggestion is that you leave the clamps to the top. If you put them towards the bottom, that's where all the heat sources in your crock pot, okay, it comes to the bottom and around the sides. So by putting your clamps on top, you're not having them come directly in contact with, you know, the sides and the heating element of your crock pot. So, just start layering in all your vegetables and then you're gonna plop in your condensed soup, your clam juice, and then the clams, and then you're gonna finish it off with a little bit of that chicken stock just to bring it up to level. Remember, because this is a slow cooker, um, there's going to be some liquid that naturally happens while it's cooking and maybe it's slow. So just anticipate that. You don't have to use all the liquid, but once again, read the description box. It gave so many awesome tips and tricks about this recipe. Put it on low, that is the key, guys. Put it on low, and then let it go. I let mine go for my complete work shift, okay? So I was gone for about eight and a half hours, and then when I came home, this is what I had. It was so, it smelled so good in my house, I can't even tell you. But I realized that I wanted it just a little bit thicker. Now, this is where you can do, you can optionally make a uh, little thickening agent by having some flour and milk of your choice. So I have about two tablespoons of flour, and I'm gonna have two tablespoons of almond milk, and I'm just gonna stir that together, and I'm gonna put that into my crock pot. And then I'm gonna stir it in there, and while I'm in there, I'm gonna take out the bay leaf just because I'm done with the bay leaf flavor. It doesn't have to stay in there forever. Now, while the lid is on, this is a great opportunity for me to get my workout in. I like to work out after work. So I usually do about a 25, 35 minute workout, take my shower, and when I come back, is done and after a long work day, okay, after a long work day, a workout, and a shower, I'm ready to be comforted. Aren't you ready to be comforted? I'm ready to be comforted. So I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna have my soup. I actually serve mine with some of my uh, homemade multi-seed bread. You guys should check out that recipe right here. Super amazing, super delicious bread, but I just tear off a couple of pieces of multi-seed bread or any other bread, or if you're a real New Englander, you go for those oyster packages, y'all know what I'm talking about. But I hope you like this, guys. This is a super awesome recipe, really easy to do. You can make it any day of the week, and it'll be ready for you when you come home. Doesn't that sound awesome? All right, guys, enjoy this recipe. I'll see you soon.